BCPS families. I'm excited to share with you an ELA lesson about listening for the sound of letter W, W, and the letter Z, Z in the beginning of words. We will listen for these sounds together, and then you will get to show what you know by telling about or drawing pictures of words that have these two sounds. We'll end today by giving you enrichment ideas so that you can extend your learning at home. Hello Pre-K families and ABC families that might be watching today. My name is Barbie Pullman and I'm a resource teacher with the Office of Early Childhood. I work with the Aliza Brandwine Center, also called ABC. We travel to several area Title I schools and we teach caregiver child school readiness classes for children ages zero to four. If you're interested in finding out more about our program, you can visit the BCPS website and click on Office of Early Childhood. Before we begin our pre-K lesson today, we need to do a brain smart start to get our brains ready for learning. The first step in the brain smart start is called Unite. So we will sing a welcome song from our ABC class. Clap your hands along with me. Welcome, welcome everyone. We're glad you're here. Let's have some fun. Can you clap your hands like so? Then bend down and touch your toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. We're glad you're here. Let's have some fun. You did it. The second step in the Brain Smart Start is called Disengage Stress. Today we're going to do a breathing strategy called the drain. If you've never done the drain breathing strategy before, we pretend like our arms are faucets. And as we exhale, we let pretend water out. Let's try it. We stretch our arms straight out. We squeeze our hands as we breathe in through our nose. And then as we exhale, we pretend to let out water like this. We're going to do this breathing strategy three times. Ready? Let's try it. Squeeze, breathe in. Exhale. Let's try it again. Squeeze your hands, breathe in through your nose, and exhale. One last time. Squeeze your hands, breathe in. Nice try. Our third step in the Brain Smart Start is called Connect. It's where you make a connection with someone. If you're sitting by yourself right now, call over a family member to join you. We're going to sing a song today called the Eensy Weensy Spider. You've probably heard this one before. Here comes my daughter to help us today. I chose the song the Eensy Weensy Spider because today we're learning about the letter W and its sound. When I say Weensy, I hear the W sound at the beginning of that word. Here's how the song will go. We'll model it for you this time, and then you can try it along with us. Ready? The eensy weensy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the eensy weensy spider went up the spout again. So boys and girls, hold out your arm for your family member. They'll pretend to be the spider crawling up your arm. Ready? Let's try it together. The eensy weensy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the eensy weensy spider went up the spout again. You did it. That's a fun one. The fourth step in our Brain Smart Start is called commit. It's where we make a promise for how we're going to do a good job with our learning today. I commit to using my listening ears so I can hear all those beginning sounds and words today. What do you commit to? I commit to using my dad. Gentle hands are important to keep all of our materials and family members safe. So let's get started with our lesson today. 
Let's take a look at our I can statement for today. Read it along with me. I can listen for the letter sounds W, W, and Z, Z in the beginning of words. We read that we will be listening for sounds and words today. Which body part helps us to listen? That's right, our ears. Give your ears a wiggle to wake them up. We read that we will be listening to the beginning of words. That means we will listen for the first sound we hear. Look at the picture of the wagon. Listen as I say the word, wagon. The beginning sound in wagon is w. When we look at the word wagon, the w makes the w sound. It's the first letter. Look at the picture of the zoo. Listen as I say the word, zoo. The beginning sound in zoo is z. When we look at the word, the first letter is a z. It makes the z sound. Why are we practicing so much with listening for sounds in words? Identifying sounds and the letters that make these sounds in words will help you to become a strong reader. Reading is an important lifelong skill that will help you throughout your life. Let's learn about the letter W and its sound. This is the capital W. This is the lowercase w. To help you remember the sound for the letter W, we have a picture, a song, and an action. Look at the picture of the worm. The word worm has the W sound, w. Listen, worm, w. Here's how the song goes. This is the way the wiggly worm wiggles, the wiggly worm wiggles, the wiggly worm wiggles. This is the way the wiggly worm wiggles, the letter W says w, w, w. Now we're going to sing it again, and this time you can try out the action. The action is to wiggle your body like a worm. Let's try. This is the way the wiggly worm wiggles, the wiggly worm wiggles, the wiggly worm wiggles. This is the way the wiggly worm wiggles. The letter W says w, w, w. You did it. Let's learn about letter Z and its sound. This is the capital Z. This is the lowercase z. To help you remember the sound for letter Z, we have a picture, a song, and an action. Look at the picture of the zipper. The word zipper has the Z sound, z. Listen, zipper, z. Here's how the song goes. This is the way the zipper zips, the zipper zips, the zipper zips. This is the way the zipper zips, the letter Z says, z, z, z. Now, we'll sing the song again, and this time, you can try to do the action along with us. The action is, to pretend to pull a zipper up and down. Ready? Let's try it. This is the way the zipper zips, the zipper zips, the zipper zips. This is the way the zipper zips, the letter Z says z, z, z. You did it. Now that we've learned the sounds for the letter W, W, and the letter Z, Z, it's your turn. Think of words that begin with the w sound or the z sound. Take a few moments to do that now. Let's take a look at some words that begin with the w sound for letter W. I will say the word and you say it after me. Wagon, wallet, watermelon, walrus, worm. Did you think of any of those words too? Which other W -w words did you think of? Now, let's look at some words that begin with the z sound for the letter z. I will say the word 
and you say it after me. Zipper. Zucchini. Zigzag. Zebra. Did you think of any of those words too? Which other Z, Z words did you think of? You did it. Hi, boys and girls. I have two friends here with me today who are ready to play a game with you. Let me introduce you to my friends. This is Zoe. Do you know what kind of animal she is? That's right, she's a zebra. Let's say hi to her, ready? Hi, Zoe Zebra. When I say Zoe Zebra's name, I notice that I hear the Z sound in the beginning of Zoe and Zebra. When I say that sound Z for letter Z, I notice that I put my teeth close together and I spread my lips slightly. Watch, Z, try it. Z. Very good, that's the sound for letter Z. Now, this is my friend Walter. Do you know what kind of animal he is? He's a walrus. Let's say hi to him. Hi, Walter walrus. Now, Walter walrus has the w sound at the beginning of Walter and walrus. That's the sound for letter W. When I make the sound for W, I notice that my lips round a bit like this. Ooh. Do you see that? Try it with me. Ooh. Ooh. You got it. That's the sound for letter W. Now, our two friends here are very hungry, but they're picky eaters. They will only eat foods that start with the same sound as their name. Let me show you how we'll play the game today. I've got one item here. Look, it's a zipper. I'm gonna say that word, zipper. I noticed when I said zipper that I felt the z sound in my mouth. I wonder, does walrus like to eat that? Hmm, walrus zipper, hmm. Or does zebra like to eat the zipper? Zebra zipper. Oh, when I said those two words, I heard the z sound. So I'm gonna feed the zipper to zebra. Yum, 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 yum. There we go, I'll place it in the bag. Here's another one for you. Look at this. This is a window. I'm gonna say it out loud, window. I noticed when I said window, my lips started to round. I wonder, does window start like zebra? Or does window start like walrus? Hmm. It sounds like walrus and window both have the w sound in the beginning. I'm gonna feed this window to our walrus. Ready? Um, 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 um. Right inside the bag. Now it's your turn to help me. I'm gonna show you an object and you have to decide which animal will eat it. You can say zebra or you can say walrus to show the answer today. Ready, here we go. The first one is web. Say it with me, web. Hmm, I wonder who will eat this. Let's say the words together. Zebra, web, walrus, web. Tell me who should eat the web today. If you said walrus, you're right. They both start like w, web, walrus for letter W. Let's feed it to him. Yum, 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 yum. Right inside there. Here's another one for you. Ooh, look. This is a zigzag. Say it, zigzag. I wonder who wants to eat the zigzag today. Let's try saying the names of the animals. Walrus, zigzag. Zebra, zigzag. Hmm. Who do you think will eat the zigzag today? If you said zebra, 
You're right. Zebra and zigzag start like z for the letter Z. Let's feed it to her. Here comes another one for you. This is a vegetable. It's called a zucchini. Say it with me. Zucchini. I wonder who will eat the zucchini. Try it by saying the names of the animals. Walrus zucchini. Zebra zucchini. Hmm. Tell me which one will eat the zucchini. If you said zebra, you're right. Yum, 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 yum. Zebra and zucchini start with the z sound for letter Z. Let's try another one. Hmm. This is a waffle. I love to eat waffles for breakfast. I wonder who wants to eat the waffle today. Let's try it by saying the names. Walrus, waffle, zebra, waffle. Hmm. Who's going to eat it today? If you said walrus, you're right. Walrus and waffle start like woof. Yum, 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 yum. Here's another one for you. I use this when I'm outside gardening. It's a watering can. Say it with me, watering can. I wonder who's going to eat that today. Let's try it by saying the words, walrus, watering can, zebra, watering can. Hmm. Who's going to eat it today? If you said, Walrus, you're right. Walrus and watering can start like whoop. Here's our last object today. It's a number. You're right, that's a zero. Say it, zero. I wonder who wants to eat the zero today. Is it walrus or zebra? Try it by saying the words, ready? Walrus, zero. Zebra, zero. Hmm. It sounded like it was the zebra. Is that what you said too? You're right. Let's feed zebra here. Um, yum, 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 yum. Into the bag. If you had fun playing this game with me, you might want to play at home too. In your print pathway packet, you should have a paper that looks like this with W words and Z words. You can take a pair of scissors and cut out all of these pictures. And then, instead of using these bags, you can use some stuffed animals you have around the house. Here's one that I have and another one. Then you need to decide which animal will eat which sound. I gave this guy a letter W. He wants to eat words that begin like woof. And I gave this friend a Z. He wants to eat words that begin like Z. Then you can practice feeding your animals each of the pictures that you cut out. Now, before you get started on that, stick along with me. You're going to show me what you've learned today. Now it's your turn to show what you know. I'll play some music for a couple of minutes. During this time, it's your job to think of at least one word that begins with W, W, and at least one word that begins with Z, Z. You may draw pictures, find objects in your home, or tell a family member the words. Okay, put on your thinking cap and get started.
How did you do? Were you able to think of words that begin with each sound? If this lesson was tricky for you, here's an activity to try. Pick just one sound, either w or z. Have your grown up show you pictures or say words. Some should begin with your sound and some should not. You can sort the pictures into two groups. Yes, it begins with my sound, or no, it does not begin with my sound. You could also do an action each time you hear your sound. For example, if you're listening for W, w you might wiggle like a worm each time you hear a word that begins with W. If you're ready for a challenge, try listening for Z, Z at the end of words. Have your grown up say words. Some should end with Z, like freeze or jazz, and some should not. When you hear a word that ends with Z, pretend to zip a zipper or give a thumbs up. Here are some ways to continue your learning at home. As we discussed in the video, you can play a stuffed animal feeding game using the pictures found in your print pathway packet. Gather two stuffed animals. Choose one animal to eat words that begin with w and the other animal to eat words that begin with z. As you learn other letter sounds, you can play this game using the new sounds as well. Draw a silly scene using as many w and z pictures as you can, such as a zebra eating zucchini or a whale in a wagon. Do you have a paper bag at home? If so, have your grown up write mystery bag on it and place a w or z picture inside. Have your grown up give you clues so that you can guess the picture. Then switch roles and you give the clues to your grown up. Here's another fun game. Have your grown up say two words. Listen carefully to determine if these words begin with the same sound. Stand up if they do. When you hear another pair of words that begins with the same sound, sit back down. This is a great way to move your body while learning. You did it! You listened for W, W, and Z, Z in the beginning of words. This will help you to become a good reader. Keep singing the W and Z songs to help you remember the letter sounds. As we say in our ABC class, Hands up high and hands down low. We're the BCPS family wherever we go. Bye-bye.